Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and we are back in Kent Follett's The Pillars of Earth, where we have to go get a confession from the Earl. So, I guess the only thing left for us is to really just see what we can find around here. And see what kind of scenarios From we what can I get. heard, this is about the cathedral in Kingsbridge. It burned down. Yes. Then the king should help in some manner. But not by giving away English land to the church. Did you not say that Bishop Henry was the richest man in England? Then why is he not paying for the cathedral? Pot has very tight purse strings, it seems. <laughs> Heresy. Pure, utter heresy. But yeah, I'll warn you guys in advance, I have been sneezing all day today. So if you see me just turn off the camera for whatever reason, it's probably because I'm sneezing. So, forgiveness please. Right, what does this other group of nobles have to say then? Percy Hamley will have the oldham of Shiring. Are you sure about that? But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen wanted the throne for 20 years. Now that he has it, he must be loyal to those who are loyal to him. Who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the strings. Wouldn't surprise me. Tends to be what happens. What about this group of knights? What do they have to say? Bartholomew and his followers would have only been the first wave. Robert of Gloucester remains and he will attack. And that's what you keep telling us. Maybe because the king likes to hear that you share his worries about Robert of Gloucester. Robert of Gloucester wants to see his sister on the throne. He will attack. And the Welsh will fight on his side. You mark my words. Uh, okay then. Damn the Welsh. They've always been one of the most awkward of the, na the nations in, the, in our great United Kingdom. Tomorrow, the king will announce his decision. Until then, they won't allow a simple monk like me into the keep. Fair enough, then. A grand castle fit for a king, Francis said. Castles are like warships, ships for when the floods of conflict arise. How they all talk, Francis says that court words are weapons. Wish Francis was here. Were they loyal to the old king? Are they loyal to the new king? Do they have a choice? They hardly ever look at me. Maybe they feel as lost as I do here. Court respects power, not faith. Tut tut. So many colours. Knights from all over England. And Normandy for sure. Right, what do we have over here then? With the castle gate. No, I won't just leave. I must do something to help our priory. Alright then, so that's... What's this then? Winchester is a strange place. So many people. I hope to find my way back to the guest house. Yeah, I'm sure we all do. Oh, what do we have How here? How could you let her get away? That little bitch. I will find her mother. She was here? Why? To see her father, of course. But that won't help her. She has already made a fool of you once. Don't let it happen again. No, mother. Looks like she really does pull all the strings. William Hamlin, we met before. He was with Bishop Whalerin, the Hamlin's son. Oh, huh. all right. What about these two? The Hamleys, they defeated Bartholomew. Francis believes that that is a good thing. Monk, it's about time you showed up. Oh really? You've been expecting me? Regan Hamley, we have not been formally introduced. You are a fool. How dare you? Is that formal enough for you, Monk? You don't understand any of this, do you? It's as if you've never set a single foot outside your little priory. Unbelievable. You'd better call me father. No, we're going to be polite How can to... I help you, Lady Hamley? How you let yourself be used by those two greedy bishops, I'll never know. Whaleran wants the lands of the earldom for himself. 
Henry knows that. Say something. You don't it believe me. You're only you, worrying monk. about your husband's land. Well, of course I am, and you should be too. If Waylaren wins, we both lose. Oh. Ask I know proof. you don't trust me, but your bishops are no different from me. And what proof you do are you at have? Do you have a way to prove any of this? Ride with my son, William. Just a few hours. I will prove to you that Waylaren will betray you. All right. I will ride with your son, if only to prove you wrong. Very well. Maybe right. you're not a fool after all. But do yeah, not let are. the bishop see you. William? What? Ride with Father Philip. Do as I said. Aye, she called us father at least. She knows who we are. William Hamley declined to tell me where we were heading. He enjoyed keeping me in the dark and forcing me to follow his lead. Sometimes he sped ahead on his war horse and it took me some effort to catch up. But sooner or later he would stop and wait, sneering as I rejoined him. He's not a nice man. We know that. On one occasion he stood there urinating against a rock. When I caught up with him he turned without covering himself. He found my shock at his shameful behavior comical. He laughed, got back into the saddle, spurred his horse and rode off. Again I followed hoping this journey had not been another horrible mistake. Probably was. Probably very much was. Oh, my shoulder's killing me way too much. It's a good thing yet this is a game you can play one-handed. So I'm just gonna leave my broken shoulder, arm, whatever, to just hang while we move it right on. Near a bridge, I found William with a group of washerwomen. He was shouting at them. When I arrived, I could only hear their replies. They said that they had not seen a girl or a boy fitting his description. A younger, blonde woman said that even if she had seen the girl, she would not tell him. Apparently, she had heard of William Hamley. Don't blame her. William grabbed the startled-looking woman by the arm. He shoved his right hand under her skirt. She started crying. The other women asked William to stop, but were afraid to anger him. William turned and grinned when he saw me approaching. I thought you were afraid of hell, William. I told William to get on his horse. I rode on and said nothing. I told William when he to heard get my words, William's grin faded. He pushed the young woman away. The other women looked at me in a strange way. They must have asked themselves why a monk would ride with such a man as William. Probably. We rode off, and William stared at me full of spite. Don't care if he does. I told him I pitied him. I did not tell him why, because I had no words for it. We did not talk after that. Not for a long time. So we shouldn't, with a prick like him. William talked to more strangers along the way. First, I believed he was asking for directions. Then I realized that money was changing hands. William was paying these people for information. I was glad that for now he had lost interest in hurting others. Then I saw an old woman pointing William to a bearded man on a horse. Terrible person are you, William? Aren't you, William, William? called the man a horse thief. Then he grinned and signaled the puzzled man to get on his horse and ride with him. They rode faster and faster and I could not hear what more they talked about. Oh, what do we have to do? Keep a distance, get closer to hear more. Uh, we'll get closer. I'm not keeping a distance William from that. William bluntly threatened to have the man hanged for stealing a horse of his, and then ordered him to hunt down the real thieves in exchange for his life. The man laughed as if he had made a great bargain. William even paid him. Before the man rode off north, William mentioned a name. Aliena. And I prayed that whatever William's plan was, that it would fail. So it, you should. Then William waved at me to ride faster. I reckoned we had to be close to where Lady Hamley wanted us to go. Not long after, my stomach turned as I realized just where exactly we were bound. 
the bishop, the cathedral. Yep, thought so. Seemed like we were heading here. The palace of ba Bishop Wailowin by God. Just a moment. What? You know very well that Bishop Wailowin is in Winchester now. So what are we doing here? No idea. What do you mean, no idea? Mother never tells me anything. She treats me and father like damn children. It's a wonder father ever got to fuck her in the first place. But here I am, and I'm starving. Damn, I'm starving. Where are you going? In there. No! I'm sure the bishop would want to see me well fed. We won't be staying long, so whatever it is you've got to do, do it fast. What am I meant to do? I've not been told of anything. How can I help you? How about you step aside? <laughs> well, why did Regan Hamlin send us here? What is Whaler in secret? Is there anything I can do around here then? I can use the gate and come outside. Path. Would rather leave, but now that I'm here, might as well look around. Should find a way out of here. What is that? Yeah. What is that? Wellern has a construction on his own on his site of his own. What it, what is he building out there? What is he building out there? What is he building out? Is this out? why Regan Hamley thinks that Waleran wants the lands of Shiring for himself? He is the bishop. He can do as he pleases. Perhaps he is just building a guest house. That's a big guest no, house. It is too big for that. Thank you what for realizing that. What in the name that. of Christ is he building out there? It looks like a cathedral. What in the... Oh, hello, Timothy. I see you there. What's you, up? Please. What do you want? What do you need us to do? You were here before, weren't you? Yes. I remember you. F Philip, isn't it? Yes, yes. Philip of Gwyneth. Please. Uh, you have to help me. Uh, uh, he's being a prick, isn't he? The bishop's room. What happened? He forced me to serve him food. He took the Lord's name in vain, he, and he pushed me and touched me. Oh, God. Ah, the monk. Oh. Did the boy call you? So what, did he ask you for help? He didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to say anything. I knew you would get us in trouble trouble me yeah you we're young men he and i and i play rough so what i asked you to leave and that is what we will do what will the bishop think of your behavior listen we're all on the same side here we are not you me him we're all working for the bishop he won't mind i play rough so what <sighs> You're a sinner. We are all men of God. Well, you are a sinner. Yes, he is. So what? Everyone is. The bishop told me. But my sins are forgiven. How? Why would you think that? I took Earl's castle for him. Your parents agreed to arrest Bartholomew because they wanted his earldom. Who cares what they think? I felled Bartholomew's men with my sword. Yeah. The old man was begging me for his life. On his knees, he begged me. I did it for the bishop. But hey, I'm sure you did great things for him as well. <laughs> you think my father took Earl's cast? I pity you. I pity you. Again? You dare to say that again? Yes. You... Pity me! 
I pity you. You're not a man. Neither of you are. We are men of God. A man kills, and a man fucks. And no one talks down to me. No one! I know you saw me in that whore at the river. I would have fucked that woman if it hadn't been for you. And what would that have achieved? She'd have learnt her lesson. And don't you think I noticed how you spied on me and that horse thief? Yes. I should kill you for that. I should. You can't. Let me tell you. I will fuck Bartholomew's whore of a daughter. I will fuck her good. I'm a man. Damn it, I'd fuck the boy if that was the only way to put him in his place. Hell, he looks like he'd enjoy it too. You are not a man, you are a beast. You are not a man. You are a beast. Oh, I am a man. But yes, there is a beast in me. It hunts and kills like no other. I unleashed it for the bishop. And my sins are forgiven. No, not they're even not. God would forgive those sins. <laughs> of course he would. He already did. The bishop told me. Then the bishop is wrong. <gasps> hey, we're on the same side here. Now, we will stay here a while longer, as I've not finished eating. Shit. Make him go. I want I... him to leave. Now. Will do, Timothy. We should leave. I'm not done here yet. We stay. William just drove the knife into the table. What if the bishop saw this? A greasy plate. W William just tossed it away, it seems. Toppled over cup. Okay. We're gathering all of this for some reason. If the bishop finds out about this, he will... He will not be pleased. Yes, I would agree. Use no. the plate. I better put the plate back on the. Okay then. Hmm. No, I should put it back on the table and straighten We're straightening, the... straightening everything out apparently. Better. And put the knife down properly too. Yeah, and here I was thinking of using the knife to threaten William. I wonder if I could have actually done that. Probably could. Have William look in the fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the Book of Life, he was thrown into the Lake of Fire. What's that? It's from the scripture. The end of days. The second death of the sinners. Bishop Whaleran said that if a sinner stares into the flame, the devil stares back from the lake of fire. What? Hmm. I can't see him. Me neither. What's he supposed to look like? <laughs> Our, Our bishop it? thinks the devil watches us. No. He can see the sinners. They can see him. <laughs> I don't see him. Of course I don't. You're getting more and more spooked each time, William. Hmm. Stop staring into the flames. There is nothing there. You sure about mm. that? Stop staring into the flames. Nothing. No. There is nothing there. Are you sure about that, William? Hmm. Stop staring into the flames. There is nothing. That's the exact same thing. Okay, now we're moving on to something new. Point out the stone relief to William. Please do. Throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
What? We, we know he's hell. scared of hell. It is a depiction of hell. I told you of heaven and hell once before. Do you remember? Of course. The bishop said the relief intimidates even his most impious visitors. They all fear death. I'm not afraid to die. Do not fear those who kill the body. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Who's he? The devil. A fallen angel. Yeah? I have nothing to be afraid of. The cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars. Their souls are the devils. They will all go to hell. Stop it! Hell is far away. Not so far I'm as... not afraid. You sure about that, William? It looks so alive. Perhaps the artist has actually seen the devil. Are you afraid? It's just stern. Hell is far away. Ooh, I love the music that's going on right now. Mm. Stop staring at that thing, all right? Let's do it one more time, just to see what his reaction It looks so alive. Yes, it does. That's the artist. Are you afraid? Okay, we, that's the one we had before. What happens if Hell we now... If we look at the fire now... Now that he's seen For the some, depiction. Hell is not that far away. He's still looking now. What is it? I... We ride back to Winchester. Now! Um... Okay. Okay, William. What happened? Maybe he saw things to come. How can I thank you? Ask about the construction site. Tell me. What is being built out there? What? A substantial construction is underway, it seems. Yes, but... What is it? A castle. Uh, the bishop is building a castle. A castle? Why a castle? Wailering is building a castle and has run out of materials. A castle? Why a castle? I don't know. It is not for me to ask or question the bishop. That is true. Of course. And I doubt it's for you to question him either. No, of that course man, not. William. Had no idea why you two came here, had he? You came here to spy on the bishop. You brought this man here. I... Leave! Go! Technically we didn't, but... There you are. My son seemed... thoughtful when he returned. You priests and your talk. <laughs> You always get to him. He yeah, seemed we will. more excited after talking to your bishop, though. Then again, we know Waleran is good with words, don't we, my husband? Of course, yes. Speaking of Waleran, what did you find, monk? Uh, not sure. I'm not sure what I found. I. I'm not sure. You must have seen it. Are you that blind? Bishop Whaler and Bygod is building a castle. Oh, and he used up be... every stone and every tree on his own lands. He claims he wants Bartholomew's land for your cathedral. But what Whaler wants is a castle. He's always been like that. Not long ago, you uh -oh. accused us of being selfish. But what about your bishop? Eh? What do you want from me? 
As prior of Kingsbridge, you will agree that my husband shall have the whole earldom of Shiren. And why would I do you a favor like that? Because we will support the rebuilding of your cathedral with our stones and our timber. The king can live up to all of his promises, and Waylorin gets nothing. Ooh. That is our offer. What do you say? Don't actually make me choose right now. Decline and haggle for a better deal. No, we have no deal. Why not? We made you a good offer. You need me. You need me. The king still considers giving all the lands of the earldom to Waleran to rebuild our cathedral. You need this deal with me just as much as I do. This is... Oh. We taught this fool well, it seems. What <laughs> are your terms, father? Divide the Earldom. Sure, I'm going full heretic with this path. Why not? What is more valuable, arable land or forest? Arable land, of course. Then you shall have the arable and I'll have the forest. I need the forest to hunt. An Earl must have his hunting grounds. You can hunt there. I just want the timber for my cathedral. Ugh. Which do you want, the cattle pastures or the sheep grazings? The pasture. Then I'll have the hill farms with their sheep. Would you like the income from markets or the quarry? Suppose we said the quarry. You won't though, will you? No. <laughs> we'll take the markets. You can have the stones. It is agreed then? We have a pact. My husband will let the king know Negotiation about skills. Bishop Waleran will be quite surprised. You will see his true face when he does not get what he wants. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Well, this is an outcome and a half I was not expecting. All right, Mr. Jailer, what do you have to say? Good day. You come to visit someone in my jail, Father, or do you want to pick out a nice warm cell for yourself? How dare you? Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. See? A smile. Just for you, father. Fair enough. We're here Bishop to Henry sends me. The bishop, eh? What does he want? He wants me to talk to Bartholomew of Shiring. Bartholomew That's of what Shiring? We say. Ah. It's only Bartholomew now. It's his fourth day without bread. Soon he won't even be Bartholomew anymore. Jesus Christ. Human rights and all that, please. Bartholomew. I am Brother Philip. Could you forgive those that wronged you? Could you forgive those that wronged you? Only God forgives. A monk should know that. Your conspiracy, was it really worth dying for? Your conspiracy, was it really worth dying for? Stephen sent you. Why would you side with the usurper? I was asked to make you confess. If they talk, they might bring you food. No, I'm going to be telling the truth. I was asked to make you confess. <laughs> Stronger men tried that before you. Why should I confess to you? Your people found refuge in my pyre. Yes. Your people found refuge in my priory. Your confession will help me to give them work and shelter. I have no sins to confess. My only regret is that I failed. I will not tell the king that. They will kill you. They have already done that. 
Monk, tell them that I confessed. All right. To what? All of it. Treason. But... The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father. Tell Stephen that as well. You... know the scripture? Richard and Aliena, my children. Yeah. They must live. Balthama, you confessed, but asked for clemency for his children. That is a fair thing to ask for. We will do everything in our power to make it happen. Oh, my nose. And a good day to you too, father. Yes, yes. All right. Now then, let's go to Bishop Waylo. Way, way God, Waylon, and tell him that Bartholomew you've confessed. <clears throat> ah, Philip. What is it? Bartholomew, you confessed. Leave the castle and return tomorrow. Pro provoke Waylon and mention the ca castle. I would not. I'd rather not provoke Waylon right now. About Bartholomew's confession. About Bartholomew's confession. Maybe you can get him to confess. I do not believe my prior can do more than you could, Henry. Perhaps he knows he will die, no matter what he says. All right, that doesn't work then, apparently. Maybe I should just tell them that he, that he confessed. Or maybe I should provoke Whalen. I'm just going to tell he, them he, he confessed and keep it as a for surprise for Whalen. He confessed Whalen. to everything, but he asks for clemency for his children. Good. I will let my brother know what we have achieved today once he returns from the hunt. Good, Philip. You did well. Uh... Okay, now let's provoke him. Would you not rather build a castle, my bishop? What? A castle like this, I mean. Do you not find this place remarkable? Winchester Castle? Of course. It is. Yeah, it didn't, but apparently worked. About his About children. About Bartholomew's children. My brother was never one to judge a man by the deeds of his father. Still, I shall mention Bartholomew's request to him. Well, that's good. I guess there's nothing else to, but to leave the castle and return Maybe tomorrow, then. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Yes, there is not much a monk can do here. Yes, your bishop and I will do what we can to help your priory. Of course you will. Of course they will. My loyal subject, Percy Hamley, today becomes the Earl of Sharing. Of the former Earl's possessions, Percy shall have the castle. Good. And all the land that is tenanted to knights, plus all other arable land and low-lying pasture. Okay. I swear by all that is holy to be your liegeman, and to fight for you against any other. M my king... Ah, yes. Of course, I have not forgotten the worries of my bishops. <clears throat> the Earl of Shiring himself, Percy here, solved this problem for me. Ah, yes. Thanks I remember to him, that. I can uphold my promise. Don't worry, Bishop Waleran. Kingsbridge shall be rebuilt. Percy told me of a man here whom my brother has not yet introduced. Come forward, Prior. Hello. Hello, my, my king. My brother. May I present to you Philip of Gwyneth. My king. You seem afraid. What are you worried about? Uh, I'm, wor I'm worried about my dirty ro robe, honestly. <laughs> I'm worried because I don't have a clean robe to wear. Then stop worrying. I like a monk to look like a monk, not like a king. Now, about the arrangement between you and Percy Hamley. He insisted that I give the sheep grazings belonging to the former Earl to the Priory of Kingsbridge. The Priory will also have the right to take stone from the Earl's quarry and timber from his forest. Yep. I wholeheartedly agree with the plan you two have devised. It shall be done. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. It seems unnecessarily complicated to give the land to the bishop. Percy told me that you, Father Philip, share that sentiment. 
He told me it was your idea to take up the burden of managing the rebuilding of the cathedral yourself. Yes, it I... was. Wonderful. I'm glad that we all were able to help you, Bishop Waylon, in this pressing matter. After all you've done for me. Thank you, Lord King. Yes. Bartholomew lost everything in his attempt to end my reign. This morning he was found dead in his cell. Oh. I've heard that you, Pra, worry for his children, Richard and Aliena. Yes, I do. Very worried about them, actually. While they shall lose their status, their name, and their land, they shall go free, wherever they are. Good. You must be very proud, Lady Hamley. Of course. Father Philip has been very understanding in all this. Yes, he is remarkable. Very remarkable. My husband and I were terrified when we heard about the fire in Kingsbridge. It is a blessing that we can help him in his priory now. You sowed the wind, Philip. You went to see Bartholomew in his cell. You rode with William to the bishop's palace and uncovered Waylon's secret. Waylon's servant has become suspicious of you. Well, yeah. You... You made a very lucrative pact with the Waylorans. Bishop Waylorin believes you betrayed him. Yeah. I did. Can't deny that. Yeah. Well. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into recording the next episode to make sure the chapter 8 is actually long enough for a chap- for an episode. So everyone, assuming it is, I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English Gentleman, of the internet, and I'm glad to have seen you once again for this. But I'm afraid that until the next time, it is time for me to bid thee all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.